Hello everyone, good morning to all. After a square bolt, square headed bolt, today's topic is hexagonal headed bolt. So let's take a problem from previous year's question paper, year 2019 for 8 marks. Draw to scale 1 is to 1 the front view and side view of a hexagonal headed bolt of diameter 20 mm, keeping the axis horizontal and parallel to both VP and HP, gives standard dimensions. So first of all, the given diameter is 20 mm. So based on 20 mm, 20 mm is the diameter, we are required to calculate all standard dimensions. So after D, next is 0.8 of D for 20 mm, 16 mm, then 1.5 D plus 3, 1.5 D is 30 and 30 plus 3 is 33 mm. Next 2D plus 6 threaded length 2D 40 plus 6 46 mm. And last length of the bolt equals to 4D 80 mm. And we know that capital T bolt head thickness is also equals to 0.8d so the value is 16 mm now after all standard dimensions let's try to check its position this is the bolt keeping the axis horizontal and parallel to both vp and hp in this position the axis is parallel to hp and parallel to vp so this is the final position again we have one more option first is in the front view from the front two faces are visible for bolt head these two faces are visible or we can fix it like this also so in front view now three faces are visible right so these are two possibilities i think this one is better so we'll assume our bolt like this from the front three faces are visible axis is parallel to both hp and vp and bolt head on left side right now for construction work first of all draw its central axis central axis for the bolt parallel to bottom base edge of your sheet or parallel to reference x or x y line then draw another line perpendicular to first line for side view and central axis for the center of side view now in the problem statement there is no compulsion for its side view we can assume that we are viewing from this side so if we are assuming from this side from left side view will be on right side and view will be something like this it means if we draw side view on the right side from left side on the right side this circle chamfering circle will be visible and these two circles with dia point a d and d will be hidden and if you assume something like this means if you assume that you are viewing from the side from right side view will be on left side and these two circles will be visible circle and chamfering circle will be hidden so this is what we are going to use so this is the region or area for my side view and in this region I draw its front view now starting from its center starting from its center draw three circles of dia point 8d d and 1.5d plus 3 point A, D and D, these two circles are complete circle, first circle of dia point A, D, second circle with dia D, these two circles are complete, complete means these are fully visible circles and third circle chamfering circle with dia 1.5D 1.5D 
plus 3. Right, so for third circle, diameter is 1.5 d plus 3. This is my third circle. It's a complete circle, but now we have to decide that which circle we have to show and which circle is incomplete or partial. So here we have external threads. So in case of external threads, internal circle with diameter 0.8D is incomplete or interrupted. And we know that we are observing from that side, it means circle with dia 1.5D plus 3 is hidden circle. So from that side, it's a hidden circle. Now for construction of hexagon along the circle, please draw lines at an angle of 30, 30. From this line and draw lines through these points. These are two lines on which first side, first side is going to intersect. Now line parallel to vertical axis from end of the chamfering circle to intersect these two lines. This is my first side, this is my second side, then from these two corners draw lines touching chamfering circle to intersect vertical axis touching chamfering circle to intersect vertical axis. So, this is the final hexagon on the chamfering circle chamfering circle is hidden, diameter D hidden, sorry complete and diameter point D partially interrupted or discontinuous. So side view is ready. Now for front view, please project these ends for front view. So draw lines parallel to XY like this and project these corners for its front view. Further extension for bolt head. And faces. And we know that bold head thickness capital D is 0.8 D. So from this point, from the end point, or from the vertical axis, from the vertical axis, we have to mark limit of 0.8 of D. So this is 0.8 of D. Now from this point, again draw a vertical line. This is the end point. From this point, draw a vertical line. This is the end of bold head. And for construction of bolt head, steps are similar to that of nut. So what to do again, we have to mark limits of these two points. 
So catching limits of points of intersection of chamfering circle to vertical axis. Mark it. Similarly, mark it. And from these two points at an angle of 30, 30 from this line, draw a line like this for chamfering, line like this for chamfering. Now, we have one more method of construction of hexagonal headed bolt, three faces according to the method from this point and from this point. From these two points, draw lines towards central axis at an angle of 60. So from these two points, the angle is 60. So from this point, angle 60. Again from this point, angle is, from this side we have to read, angle is 60. Now drawing lines to intersect central line. Yes. Similarly, from these ends, from these ends, these are the ends of faces. So for first phase and for second phase, these are end walls. So from this point, again draw a line at an angle of 60 from this side. So you have to read from this side. And for bottom phase, 60. Again drawing lines and intersection point, point of intersection is the center. These two points are centers. Now from first center, from first center, this is the center, first center, this is my first center and this much as radius. So from the common intersection point this point as center and this much as radius. This is your chamfering arc. Then from these two faces, for these two faces, this is first center, this is center, this much as radius, touching this point and central point. Similarly, this is my center, this much as radius, touching this point right so these are three curved faces chamfering faces of the hexagonal headed bolt now we have to show chamfered faces also so this we have to show the C is visible and this is also visible then these are visible edges So up to this construction is similar to hexagonal nut, only difference is head thickness is pointed D and thickness of nut was D. Now for length of the bolt we have two more limits with us. So what to do? From this point, from this point, first of all mark limit of the tail or tail end. So the length is 80 mm. So from this point mark 80 mm so this is the end limit and these are two limits for its major and minor dia so when you use these two limits for the length of bolt draw lines parallel to central axis like this and please Make sure that your line is parallel to central axis. We have to catch this point and line from end of the head. Right. So 
this is the length now from the last end from the last end from this point mark center for rotation or center for arc of the tail and the radius is again equals to d so from this point mark center at a distance of 20 20 from this point this point is center 20 as radius tail end curved tail end. then draw a vertical line through these two points and show outer diameter up to its head up to its head right again we know that length of thread or threaded length is 2d plus 6 46 mm so mark this limit also 2d plus 6 from last time from this end 2d plus 6 so from this point draw vertical line vertical line parallel perpendicular to central axis and show limits of minor dia up to this line using medium dark pencil and draw another two lines from starting from these two points to intersect this line at an angle of 45 45 so angle of this line is 45 45 now next is faces vertical faces of hexagonal board so these are faces which we have to show from these two corners draw lines parallel to central axis parallel to central axis right next for dimensioning please use light pencil for dimensioning line and if possible do dimensioning for all standard values all standard values means for each and every element you have to do dimensioning and diameter of chamfering circle right chamfering circle dia Right. After all dimensioning, 
please draw table for standard dimensions and write all standard values in the table. want to show just write T also and after dimension table Please write its heading hexagonal headed bolt. And if you have time, also write headings of front view and side view. So this is all from my side, please draw this problem on your sheet, please try to draw this problem as it is in your sheet. Starting from its side view, draw 3 circles, first circle with dia 0.80, second circle with dia D, third circle, hidden circle with dia 1.5D plus 3, then construct hexagon passing through the circle, chamfering circle then, project its front view starting from its hexagonal head, you know the process, but here we have used a new method for construction of hexagonal headed bolt, especially for curved part, angles of 60, 60, 60 each. So from these two points, angle of 60, angle of 60, you will get first center. Similarly, from these two ends, draw lines at an angle of 60, third angle is also 60. So these are three centers for rotation of the front view or for chamfering portion. Then use these two limits for its length for major dia, for nominal dia and for threaded dia and for end the radius is d. Now from last end 2d plus x is the length of thread and l is the length of the bolt. Write all headings, show all standard dimensions and use proper pencil. And if you have any doubt, any problem in any of the topic of engineering drawing or machine drawing, Please write your comments in the comment box. Thank you.